Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my recent empties and my reverse rouge update. So first of all, I will get into the products that I've used each month and the running totals of that. Starting off with my empties for the month of February. So hair care wise, I finished one hair care product. It was this Redken um, Pill Proof Dry Shampoo. I did like it, but now that I've been using the IGK dry shampoos, I just think they are absolutely amazing and um, particularly the first class one which is the charcoal one and um, that's been the main one that I've been using and I absolutely love it so I would definitely now that I've got that in my life just continue to repurchase that so I'm not putting anyone off this one but I would definitely try the IGK one over this one if you're looking for a new dry shampoo um, and that was worth $20. I used up two makeup products in February they were both primers so this little pixie um, sachet which is worth one dollar which I did really like and um, obviously you can only know so much from using up a sachet but um, I did like it and if I happen to come across a full size of it in my collection that sounds really weird I don't have a full size of it but what I mean is if somebody bought me it I would happily use it but I don't think I'd go out my way to purchase it is what I was trying to say in a really strange odd way of saying it there and then the other product that I used up is this cover FX primer that's the one that's the mattifying one with the acne treatment in it. I did like this but I've used up the blurring version of this and I really like that one so I would purchase the blurring one over this one. The Cover FX primer was worth $16 and then $1 for my sachet so that was $17 worth of makeup that I used in February. Obviously the rest of it is all skincare because that's what I tend to go through so I finished up this and um, I would 100% repurchase this. I've thankfully got one more um, but they have changed the formula of this. I've not tried the new formula so I don't know if it's as good but I absolutely adored this one. It's the Kiehl's Blue Herbal Cleanser and it was worth $22. I finished this Lazero um, Cleansing Polish worth $12. I did really like this. I've put this in my cleanser category on my spreadsheet and really I use it more as a makeup remover um, and then do a second cleanse after using this so I maybe should move it category but it's in the cleanser category for now and overall it is skincare anyway so um, this was worth $12. I have got I think another two of these. It's one that doesn't kind of massively excite me but I would definitely repurchase it every so often kind of thing. Especially when they do like their sets at Christmas and things and it's really good value for money. So um, yeah, more than happy to finish this. We'll end up finishing more in the future I'm sure and... Yeah, I do like it as a product. I used up these which were actually worth $4.75 each. They are two Dior samples and um, this one was the lifting and sculpting one and this was the glow booster. Um, I did really like both of them and I would say the samples were quite big although they're in sachets. They did last me um, a couple of days. I haven't, I don't really feel, although I did get a couple of days use out of them, um, I don't really feel you can really judge skincare on that so I wouldn't be put off purchasing them but I also wouldn't rush out to purchase them. Another serum was this one from the Body Shop, their Drops of Youth serum which I did really like but again like you can only tell so much from this. It was a little 7ml sample and it was worth $6.30. Again like if the Body Shop had a set or something going on I would definitely potentially purchase this but I think overall like I know what serums I like and I don't think I would give up any of the ones that I intend to buy to buy this. And another serum which to be honest is pretty much the same as I've said about the others. This one from Sunday Riley, the CEO serum. So this is worth $14.17 and yeah I didn't mind it but I don't think I'm interested enough in it from this little sample to justify going out and purchasing it. Um, but I would happily use it again if I got another sample or whatever so nothing bad to say but I'm not like super wanting to rush out and purchase it either. Something I did really like I finished um, well I used because it's one use product and um, the Garni sheet mask this is the moisture balm that's the balancing one the green one I really really like this I've used up quite a few of them I've definitely repurchased this once my spending ban is over and um, I do feel like it really hydrates my skin but it does seem to balance it, it doesn't leave it feeling super heavy or oily. It was worth $2.99. I used up this deluxe sample from Gold Fad and MD and it is their Bright Eyes Eye Cream. This was worth $18.33. I liked it, it didn't irritate my eyes but it also again didn't kind of blow me away and I think for the price of this is worth $18, like 
whatever the full size is, is obviously quite an expensive product so I don't think I'd be rushing to purchase this. On a similar vein, I actually really enjoyed this. So this is a moisturiser, it's a day cream from 111 Skin but this is a 50ml deluxe sample and it was worth $79.41 so if it's $80 for this size than the full size is obviously super expensive. This felt beautiful in my skin. I did really, really like it. I would actually really enjoy a full size of it. But overall, I just think your serum really does the work in your skincare routine and your moisturiser is just kind of a finishing product. And yes, like a bad moisturiser, you can tell when you're using a bad moisturiser, but I think you can get a good moisturiser without paying that kind of money for it. So yeah, I don't think I could justify the cost of the full size of this, but... I did absolutely love it. It just felt beautiful on the skin. That was everything that I used in February and um, so that was worth $164.70 of skincare, $20 of hair care, $17 worth of makeup. And so in February, as you can see here, I used a total of $201.70 worth of product. This is my box of empties from March. In March, I didn't finish any hair care products and I finished three things from my makeup category. So I finished two mascaras. One is the Too Faced Better Than Sex and one is the Dior Show. The Better Than Sex mini is worth $12 and the Dior Show is worth $11.40. I would definitely repurchase both of these mascaras. I really enjoyed them both. They both gave me really full lashes. Mascara is a category I really don't need to purchase anything for for quite a while because I feel like I've got so many of these minis you seem to get them in loads of gift with purchases and things. I'm not going to be running out of mascara anytime soon but I definitely would repurchase both of these. I also just want to say as well, Lauren found a place in Scotland that you can send your mascara brushes off to and they use them in the wildlife sanctuary to help with grooming animals and things. I actually originally saw it on Facebook but it was an American place and I was like, that's so good, like why is there nowhere like that here? And then we looked into it and, or, well Lauren looked into it and found somewhere in Scotland that is doing that. So I am going to send these off to that, but I'll also link the details of that down below in case anyone is in the UK and looking for somewhere to send these things off to. And then another makeup product that I finished was this. This is from Clarins. It's one of their Instant Light Lip Perfectors and it was worth $10.83. This is the shade number three um, and I absolutely love this. So unbeknownst to me, I was actually reacting really badly to my bite lip mask which never had caused me a reaction before which is why I didn't realise that was what was suddenly causing it but obviously bite products are like food grade ingredients so it was really really bad my lips were like blistered and swollen the skin around them was all blistered it was really awful and I was using this and this really really helped with it although Clarins actually I think class this as a lip gloss I put it in my lip balm category because I feel like it's more of a treatment and um, it's not really like a gloss that I would use as a gloss kind of thing. It's not like sparkly or liquidy. It is more like a lip balm consistency to me. So I put it in the lip balm category and I really like it. I actually got three of these minis. Um, I was at a Cladden's blogger event and yeah, I absolutely love them and definitely, definitely would repurchase a full size. So that was all my makeup that I used in March and that was worth $34.23. On to skincare, which again, forms the bulk of my empties. First thing I finished was this Murad cleanser. It's worth $38 and it's their AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser. I did like this. Um, I have another one that I will finish up. It's got a kind of manual exfoliator to it as well as the AHA BHA, which I don't really love the feel of. Finished it up. I'll finish up the other one. I don't really foresee myself rushing out to repurchase. Although having said that, the fact Kiehl's have now discontinued um, their blue herbal cleanser that I really liked, or they've changed the formula and I've not tried the new formula but I have been told that it's not as good but I've not tried it myself so that's not my word on it but potentially actually because that had like salicylic acid in it and things for exfoliating so potentially now that that's not available I might actually end up repurchasing this and that in place of that but we'll see. Worth $8 I finished these Uli Henriksen Stay Balanced Oil Control Cleansing Cloths. I didn't love these. I felt they were quite dried out in the packaging as well. Generally don't really like cleansing wipes but I used them on the plane on my way to Florida. Finished off the packet. That's it done. So I've now I don't have any more cleansing wipes and I'm not planning to buy any more cleansing wipes. I finished my Origins Out of Trouble mask. This was worth $26. It's a 75ml size. I really, really like this. I feel like whenever I've got spots that are like kind of under the surface, this is really good at bringing them out to a head so that they can kind of get on with going away. I do feel like 
the large size is too large and for Christmas this year I actually got a set that has a 15mm mini of this in it and I feel like the mini is probably better for me because it is very specifically something I use with under the skin spots. I don't feel one spots it out and are too ahead that this does much for them but I feel like it helps bring them out so it's quite a specific product. I'm only using it on the specific areas where I feel like I've got a spot coming up. It takes me ages to actually go through. I think I've had this for literally like four years or something. So I feel like the mini is definitely the way forward. So I do really like this, but I do just feel, unless you've got really bad acne kind of all over your face where you're going to get a lot of use out of this, I don't think the full size is worth the repurchase, but the product is really good. Another Origins mask that I finished this time, it's a mini, it's a 15ml of the Mega Mushroom face mask. I have got, I think I've got another mini actually from that set because I got the Mega Mushroom set and the mask set at Christmas, so... I think I've got another 15ml to finish and I do have a full size of this mask. I do like it but I'm definitely, I think there's other masks that I like more kind of things. So I will finish it up, I will use it up but I don't think I'd rush out to repurchase. And that was worth $7.40. Also from the Clarins Blogger event, I got this little mini. Um, so I counted this as just being worth the dollar. It's like the equivalent of a sashi because it was just like a sort of little perfume sample vial and this is from Clarins, it's their refresh hydrating mist and I actually purchased the full size of this. Obviously I said when I'm on a holiday my spending man doesn't count so I was allowed to do that. I thought this is absolutely lovely, really refreshing, it had a really nice spray on the full sized one. So I used this on the plane on the way to Florida and did purchase the full size from Dior. I finished this little deluxe sample size of their Dream Skin which I used as a kind of moisturiser. This was worth $13.30. I do like it but I don't think I'd rush out to repurchase it. What I do really like from the Dior Dream Skin range is the exfoliating like one minute mask. I think that is absolutely amazing. I can definitely feel a difference in my skin when I use that but this I like. I would use it up again if, it, if I purchased it again but I can't see myself rushing out to purchase it. I finished this from L'Occitane, the almond shower oil. I've definitely talked about this before on my channel but I love it. It's so beautiful. I'm really sad that I finished it. I wanted to use it before it went bad or anything so I just decided to finish it but I absolutely love it. I would definitely, definitely repurchase it and this little size was worth $9.50 towards my totals. I used one of these Village Therapy Aches and Pains Tension Relief bath soaks worth one dollar. I don't think I'd rush to repurchase them but I do enjoy them. I had a couple of them. I've used them. I won't repurchase them but they are fine. Empties that I don't have to show you. I used one Lush bubble bar and three Lush bath bombs. So between the four of them that was $29 towards my reverse rouge totals. Body moisturiser. I finished a sample size of this Aveda Shampoo Body Lotion which I absolutely loved. I would definitely repurchase it. It's such a pleasing scent and this was worth nine dollars. Then the last thing that I finished was a perfume. This was worth sixty six dollars and it is a little 30ml of the Mon Guerlain fragrance which I finished a 100ml of earlier in the year and I was like I really need a break from this fragrance but this was so nearly done that I was like no I'm just gonna finish this and just be done with this as well. I have now finished this but I definitely this fragrance is lovely. I really, really enjoy it, but I definitely, definitely need a break from it now. I do absolutely love it. It's definitely worth a sniff if you've not had it before, but I am so sick of it after finishing the 100ml and the 30ml. Definitely ready for something more spicy and a bit more me. There is my March spreadsheet. I will link up my Google sheet down below if anybody wants to look at my reverse rouge and my totals and things. So my skincare that I finished up in March was worth $208.20. I didn't finish up any hair care and my makeup was worth $34.23. My total used up in March was $242.43. So on to April. So the first thing I've got to show you this was actually my Bite Lip Mask. Obviously this is not the original packaging. The original packaging had burst open and I moved it into this. So I actually said just there in the last month's empties when I was talking about the Clarins that I'd had a really bad allergic reaction to this so I don't know to be fair if it coming out of the opaque packaging and into this clear packaging potentially quickened that because obviously a lot more air is getting into it when it's in a pot and it's exposed to a lot more light so that potentially quickened whatever turning process happened but it's just made me so much more aware of how like I need to really look at especially the more natural products because as much as there's loads of products that I've got that are definitely I mean everything I own pretty much is expired that I started my spending plan at the end of 2017 but yeah 
it's definitely made me more aware that I need to particularly where the sort of natural products are concerned really look at how long I've had things for and maybe prioritise using them before that happens. So I stopped using that in my lips. I actually finished up using it on my cuticles. I didn't find any reaction from using it there. That was, was my Bite Beauty lip mask and it was worth $26. I finished another two mascaras in this month. I feel like I have to say I don't use one mascara until it's done. So although I've finished four mascaras in two months, it was probably like October before I last finished a mascara. So I've not just finished four mascaras in two months. It's just the way that they've all ended, they've all ended at the same time and that's something I feel like definitely happens with my beauty habits because I, I don't really stick to just one product. I kind of get to a point where things all seem to finish at the same time and then I don't finish anything for ages. So another two mascaras, one is Benefit Roller Lash. This one was worth $8.47 towards my total and I did really like it lengthening and separating the lashes and then the other one that I finished was this, it was the Clinique High Impact is mascara worth $7.88 and again I really like this I definitely would repurchase it and um, that's a much kind of thicker more kind of volumizing mascara than roller lash so those were my three makeup products two things that I don't have the empties to show you because my grand threw them out are a shampoo and conditioner so I finished the L'Oreal clay shampoo worth $3.99 and a large size of the Kiehl's sunflower conditioner worth $30 I really liked both I've got another one of the clay shampoo I think that was on a three for two or something so I had three of them and I'll finish the other one as well it's really good if you've got kind of oily roots but fine hair and you want a little bit of volume but you don't want to be too stripped and yeah I just really like it. As for the conditioner I got that really big size and I feel like similarly to the Guerlain perfume I am just a bit sick of it and I just want to use some other stuff for a while. But I would potentially come back to it. I do actually have a travel size of it as well and I've also got the sunflower hair mask so I will use both of them up. I don't dislike them but I definitely just want something different for a little while. I also got two dollars from using two sort of sachets so this was the Melon and Gats moisturising shampoo, which it was absolutely fine. I wouldn't rush out to repurchase it. I've got loads of shampoos. Used a little sachet and that gave me a dollar to my total. And then I also used the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Vamped Oil Pre-Shampoo Mask, which again, I liked, but I don't think I would rush to repurchase it. I think as far as like pre-shampoo treatments go, I really like the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer and that's what I'd really intend to kind of keep purchasing. I do really like though overall this range, the Invisible Oil range, because I feel like my hair is very fine and generally things that are kind of moisturising tend to weigh it down and I feel like the invisible oil range really puts a lot of moisture and nourishment in there but doesn't weigh it down. I finished a Davines Oi All-in-One Milk. This was worth $32 and I have got like another two to use because my hairdresser is a Davines hairdresser and he gets me a gift set every Christmas so and the gift sets always tend to have this in them. I've got another two to use and I will use them up. I do really like the product. Another hair mask product is this from Christophe Robin and this is the prickly pear I think it's called. Yes, the regenerating mask with rare pickly with rare pickle prickly pear. Oh my goodness. This makes my hair feel good but it absolutely stinks. I've talked about this mask before because I had three of these. I've now finished two so I've got one more. It just smells really kind of musty and not pleasant so there is no way that I would purchase the full size. This little mini size is worth $14.20. Pleased that another mini is done and I've got the third one and I will use it but yeah, there's no way I'd purchase it. And then the last hair care product that I finished was this from Bumble and Bumble and it's the Dry Spun Finish Texturizing Spray. In general, you'll notice I didn't finish any hair care products in March at all, so I feel like I finished quite a lot in April, but it's just exactly what I said with the mascaras. I tend to not finish anything, then finish a lot at once, then not finish anything for a while. And I have a lot of texture sprays, so I'm really pleased to have actually finished one. I do have a full size of this and I do like it, but ultimately the Davines one is my favourite of my texture sprays and that's the one that I would intend to continue to repurchase. But I'm glad I finished this, it was worth $14 and overall that means that the hair care that I finished this month was worth $96.19. On to the skincare, I finished the Bath and Body Works at the Beach Body Lotion. This just smells divine, it's absolutely absolutely beautiful. It's worth $12.50 and I definitely would repurchase it. I finished a 30ml of the Origins Vitamins product. So I know they've now re-released this with AHAs in it. This is the original formula. This was worth $26.40. I have got 
another few sample sizes of this to finish. I finished full sizes in the past of this and I have actually bought the new one with the HAs. So I'm looking forward to trying it out and seeing how it, how it compares to this one but this is the original formula and I really like it. I finished this little mini of the Murad City Skin SPA 50. This was worth $6.50 and I do have the full size of this that I will be using. I do really like this. There's no colour to it, which I really like. So many SPFs seem to have a colour. This does not cause a white cast. It doesn't cause a tint to the skin. It's really, really lovely, really lightweight. And it's also supposed to protect from the blue light through tablets and computers and things. So as I'm sure many of you do as well, I spend my day at work looking at a computer. So it's nice to think that my SPF's helping to protect any potential aging that's happening because of that. Worth $6.80 I finished this little deluxe sample size of the Origins Clean Improvements with Honey Mask. I've got another deluxe sample size to use which I will use. This is definitely less drying than the original. Honey's obviously antibacterial so I quite like that idea sometimes when I'm a bit broken out that it's not going to just take excess oil but also potentially kind of you know cleanse the area a little bit and stuff so I do like that. I don't think I'd rush out to purchase the full size of it but you know if I had the full size I'd happily use it. So one of those scenarios. Not life changing, not terrible. I finished I think my first ever retinol product that I've finished from Dr. Dennis Gross. It's the Frulic and Retinol Wrinkle Recovery Overnight Serum. Obviously just a little deluxe sample size. This was worth $14.67 and I have to say I did actually really enjoy it. I felt like my skin looked clearer when I was using this and I'd be really tempted to buy the full size of this at some point in the future. It did feel really good in my skin and my skin definitely seemed to look better when I was using this so that is definitely a potential future full size purchase. Something I wouldn't purchase the full size of is the Origins Mega Mushrooms Face Serum. This little deluxe sample size, which is a 15ml, um, was worth $27.90. It's quite an expensive range. I really like the moisturiser from the Mega Mushroom range, but overall, having tried now quite a lot of the products from the range, I will finish them up and I don't dislike using them but it's definitely the moisturizer is the star product that's why i'd continue to purchase and i definitely don't think i'd purchase this last but not least i used up one sachet of a jo malone body wash which was very floral english pear and freesia so very floral not one i would buy a full size of but fine to use a one dollar sachet of i was actually just tidying up after filming there and i realized i forgot to talk about this it was still in the box this was from the month of april it is the natura bc Diamond Extreme Eye Cream. I did like it, it was quite a thick eye cream. It really felt like it was kind of doing something to the eye area. This little sample size was worth $18.38. So I don't think I would be rushing out to purchase the full size because it's obviously quite an expensive product if the deluxe sample is worth the best part of $20. But I did like it and I would definitely use it up again. So that is my April spreadsheet. So I finished $114.15 worth of skincare, $96.19 worth of hair care, and $16.35 worth of makeup. And then my total of used up products in April was $252.69. So overall very pleased with my April totals. So now that you've seen the products that I used and what I thought of them, I just want to talk about my overall reverse rouge progress. February I used up $201.70 worth of products, March was $242.43 worth of products and April was $252.69 worth of products. Add that on to my January empties which I've already done a video about, I will link it down below um, if you haven't seen it already. That was worth I had a really good month in January, which was worth $525.08. In total, I have used up so far, and obviously like we're in May, so my May figures will get added on at the end of the month. So I will technically be past this now, but as the months that have been completed stand, I have used up $1,221.90 worth of beauty products, which means I have achieved reverse rouge. So I'm really, really pleased about that. The weight breaks down, I have used up $123.54 worth of hair care. Skincare, I've used up $957.14 worth of skincare. So that's obviously... Skincare is always my main one that I do use and makeup I've used up $141.22 worth of makeups. Obviously skincare is the main reason that I have achieved the figures that I have. My skincare overall started the year at being worth $9,610.79. I have added on $139.50 worth of skincare but 
the overall total has now moved to $8,793.15. So it's come down into that next thousand bracket and I'm, I'm quite hopeful that as the year progresses that is just going to go down. I did buy things, I've not added on obviously things that I bought in Florida and I did buy a couple of bits in London but I don't actually think I bought any skincare. No I didn't. No I definitely didn't buy skincare in London so although I will have a couple of bits and pieces to add on and there's things that I bought in 2017 that are still not filmed and generally the things that are in bags and things waiting to be filmed it's easier for me to manage if I wait to film them then add them on as I film each haul video so I know I do have stuff to add on but I am hoping that overall um, I will be ending 2019 with a much lower total than I've started with in skincare. Makeup I'm quite pleased with because in total I've used $141.22 worth of makeup now I don't wear makeup every day and I have a lot of makeup that's what my whole discoveries and declutters is about it's about rotating my makeup rather than trying to pan or finish makeup and I think that's definitely the right way for me to go this year but I do also know that makeup's what I add on the most of that's definitely what I bought in London it's what I bought in Florida already this year added on $176.49 worth of makeup now I can't actually even off the top of my head remember what that's from I think it's from when I started filming my New York hauls from when I went to New York last year and I think it's just from finding products in those hauls that I haven't added in yet I did actually try to add most of my New York things in at the end of the year last year before starting with fresh figures for this year um, but obviously I've found various bits and pieces that haven't been added in so makeup has overall gone up so far it started at $17,441.07 currently on $17,476.34 so I think I just have to accept that I'm going to end up with more makeup than I've started with. The thing is I feel like with makeup rotating is the right thing for me to be doing this year and um, I've also been decluttering and that's not in these figures because basically I'm going to be totally honest I didn't want an extra column on my spreadsheet every month so I'm saving my decluttering stuff and I'm going to take it off in May and then do another declutter maybe in like August September and um, so although I'll be doing discoveries and declutters every month, I'm going to put the de decluttered stuff in a basket and then get rid of it all in one go kind of thing. Um, just so that I don't have another, like, another column on every single month to my spreadsheet because my spreadsheet's already pretty big. So I do know I've decluttered a lot of stuff and I think realistically with makeup, that's how my makeup total is going to move. It's going to be through decluttering it and I'm, I'm never going to finish all the makeup that I own and I, there's there's like a step in between me saying that and me really accepting that and making it okay to declutter stuff because I'm still really struggling overall with declutters I'm much better than I was I've made huge progress so I do have a like things I'm decluttering video coming up that I'll kind of talk more about that stuff in but I'm really I'm really proud of what I have actually made it okay to declutter because I have a lot of issues with decluttering and I have a lot of guilt around decluttering so last year I just really didn't declutter at all so I'm making progress with coming to terms with that and being like well if, if you're not going to use it it's being wasted whether it's in your storage or whether it's in landfill because basically all my stuff's expired it's all really old I'm not comfortable passing it on to anyone because I went on my spending ban at the end of 2017 so nothing that I would be decluttering is going to be like within um, a usable date so yeah there's a whole thing but yeah I've got some decluttering that will be taking off in May I'll be quite interested I've not done the admin side of that yet so I don't know what the totals will be but I will be doing a May update obviously so I will share that when it happens but I think that will help overall I think I'm still going to finish with more makeup than I've started with and I just need to kind of be okay with that and keep rotating things and make it more okay to declutter things. Hair care I started with $2117.05 worth of hair care. I have used up $123.54 worth of hair care but I've added on $63.83 worth of hair care. Makes my new hair care total $2057.34. Hair care is obviously the least problematic but within that like I broke it down and looked at all the kind of quantities of different like what I owned within different kind of um, categories of hair care and like one of the things I've definitely noticed that I wouldn't have really noticed before doing this is that I have a lot of blow dry sprays, a lot of blow dry volumizing sprays in particular. I wash my hair like once a week. Don't blow dry my hair often enough for the sheer volume of product that I have in that category. Overall I need to 
the hair care that I own, it's so geared at wet hair, basically. So if I hadn't been doing this, I wouldn't have really noticed that. And I would probably just kept purchasing things like that rather than being like, no, take take note of the fact that you don't wash your hair that often, your hair's not wet that often. You need products that do this job, but do it on dry hair because your hair is dry more than it's wet. I wouldn't have noticed that if I hadn't started doing this. So I'm really pleased, although hair care is not a problematic category in comparison to the values of other products, like there's still work to be done um, and I'm not happy with the amount of hair care stuff that I own, but I'm not as worried about it. And yeah, I think if I end up if I can get it down so that it's under $2,000, which it's currently at $2,057, I'll be quite happy and then just continue to hopefully make progress and hopefully finish the year with a lot less hair care than I started. And I think as well, so this year I've said I'm looking at my my quantities as well as my totals because the value is just an indicator and it's a nice indicator and all these things are just indicators because like reverse rouge is about using up $1,000 worth of product um, because you need to spend a thousand dollars to get Rouge VIB status at Sephora. If somebody uses a lot of drugstore products, they're going to use a lot more product to get to that thousand dollars worth of product used than like if I use super high end products all the time. So that's just an indicator. Quantity is also just an indicator. Like none of these things, like you'd really have to look at the mils or the grams of everything to really properly measure what you're using because the money is so. The money and the quantities are so easily manipulated so that I could I could use a thousand dollars really easily using high-end products or I could have a really rubbish looking number but I've used up like 50 drugstore products you know it's it's all just an indicator so I think it's good to do both basically. Hair care I started with 113 products so I will be at 104 hair care products so we're down by nine in total. Not great, but not terrible. Skincare started with 410 skincare products, currently at 373 skincare products. So still a long way to go. I'd definitely like to finish this year under 300 products. Talking about using another 73 products between now and the end of the year, that might be a bit of a stretch, but a lot of my skincare, as you've seen, is deluxe sample sizes and things because I used to get so many like gift with purchases that was such a purchasing trigger for me when I was spending. Hopefully that would be quite nice to get it down to under the 300 totals wise. And then makeup I started with 822 items now have oh I've got 820 items before I add on my London and Florida things so I definitely know I'm going to end up with more makeup items but I've actually used 10 makeup items so that's quite good. I've used up 44 skincare items and I've used up 9 hair care items. Total quantities wise this year I have used up 63 items and I started with 1,345 items, 1,297, so 1,297, so I've taken it down to from 1,300 and something to 1,200 and something, only just, but we've taken it down so I'm pleased with that. So that is how my reverse rouge um, kind of progress is going with both quantities and values. I know this has been quite a long video so I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, I'm feeling quite good about where I am and um, you know I've used up over a thousand dollars worth of product this year. We're like a third of the way through the year basically so I'm hoping I might still hit like three thousand this year. Last year I did do over four thousand but you know that was the first year I was really doing it and making an effort to use things so I do expect that to go down kind of year on year as I really finish through like the samples and I'm left with just full sizes and things. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been enjoyable and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye!